actually today, I'll be breaking down um, the Cardinals versus Carolina Panthers. Preview. That being said, let's hop straight into it. Now, we'll start off looking uh, from the Cardinals side. Okay, first thing I want to bring up, injuries. Last week we saw Cole McCoy start and Kyler having to sit out. Same thing with A.J. Green and D-Hop. Are arguably two best receivers not being there. And then we also lost Chase Edmonds in our first play. It was a... It was very rough, but you know what? Our offense looked as good as it has ever looked. Okay, now we are we're supposed to get at uh, Kyler and in the hop back. Uh, AJ Green will have another week due to protocols, and in, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Chase has a high ankle sprain, leaving him out four to six weeks, which is kind of uh, rough for us. But that's going to bring me to my next point after this. It's these injuries, though they are our biggest players, they haven't seemed to define us as a team, which is surprising. A lot of teams crumble after the, they lose their quarterback. A lot of teams don't do good when they lose their best offensive player. But yet here we are losing multiple key pieces and still out here. So, it's, you know, it's very nice to see. But, as I was saying earlier, bringing me to my next point, Eno Benjamin. Eno Benjamin has to take Chase's spot. Well, it depends how you, who you define as our number one guy, but I guess Connor is now the number one. But either way, Eno Benjamin has to take Chase's spot. Okay, and I, I know the coaching staff has been high on Eno. We never got to see him play once. Until yesterday. He has been dealing with injuries his whole career. Didn't play his whole rookie season last season. Made his... Played his first game. And you know what? He handled business. Okay, he didn't have too flashy of stats. You know, he was he only was in there for a few plays. But can we talk about that touchdown run where he ran over Drake Kirkpatrick, a former Cardinal last year, and gave him the business? That was, oof. That was awesome to see. With Eno looking uh, promising so far, I think we should be good without uh, Chase. But it, it would just be a matter of... Uh, Seeing if we have to bring back Cole and everyone. So, yeah, but as of right now, I am very high on Eno. Next thing I want to bring up is just Kirk. Right now, he leads the Arizona Cardinals in uh, receiving yards with 545. Okay, and I get it, AJ Green and Hop out, right? But I think that's something that should just still shouldn't be ignored. It is his contract season, so you know it's a it's a big uh, season for him. I hope we do bring him back. But um, if he keeps playing like this right now, he is on pace for uh, over a thousand yards, which would be huge for us. The farthest he's gone was seven hundred. This would be huge for us, okay? And if he's still playing like he is right now, there's no way he's not going to top it. And I don't know. I just thought that deserved some attention as as well as these two next points. Jalen Thompson. Everyone knows Buddha is our guy. He's our safety. That's, that's our guy. We paid him. Yeah. Jalen Thompson has went from, yeah, okay, you know, to being almost, in my opinion, Buddha level. You watch the you watch the Cardinals games, and this guy is just insane. Now, he, I'm not going to say he's Buddha. He's, I'm not going to say he's better than Buddha. 
Because he isn't, but to have this guy on the other side of Buddha, the way he's been playing, he's been hitting people hard. He's been getting to the receiver. He's been he's been doing everything a safety has been doing, and he's done it correctly. Okay? Now, he is a little feisty, causing us uh, some penalties and stuff, but I'm all for that. Honestly, it's, it's bad to get penalties, but if you can have that winning mentality, I'm fine with it. And now with my next point. Marcus Golden, he he kind of has proven that he's our guy, okay. And now I've been wondering is if this is a good thing for us to have Marcus Golden doing so well, considering we got Chandler or wanting a contract extension. I've been wondering if that's been a good thing, okay. And Marcus Golden has nine sacks right now, nine. That's one for each game. He's averaging. Okay, he's leading the league in forced fumbles and fumbled recoveries. Okay, and Miles Garrett, the leading in sack, uh, leading um, pass rusher in sacks, has twelve. Marcus Golden is in second place right now. Second. I'm not gonna lie. I I wouldn't be surprised if Marcus Golden can compete for that sack title. Honestly, because Miles Gary, you see, you see him. That everyone's saying, I mean, he could be defensive player of the year. You know, he's really good. He's doing this. He's doing that, right? But we've seen multiple games with Marcus Golden with multiple sacks, multiple forced fumbles. It, we, we're seeing this, this very underrated guy here not really get any love. So I want to bring that up because I do think he actually can't contest Miles Garrett for that uh, sack title. So yeah. All right. Next up, though, we got we'll talk about the Panthers. Now it's already came out that um Sam Darnold won't play. He got messed up in the last game. I don't know what the injury is, but he won't play. So this is a um interesting situation for the Cardinals. Because, I mean, it's a good thing it came out now so we can game plan around the backup, but I don't think P.J. Tucker has too much tape around him. I, I know we played a couple games last season, but I'm not sure if that's enough. Um, it might be, might not, I don't know. But um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see how uh, we handle him. Now, oh, the, uh, um, the Panthers... Have the sixth worst offense in the league, but they also bring the second best defense. It's kind of a give and take thing, right there. But our defense, from what I've read about, and looked at, should just be able to shut the shut these Panthers down. There's no there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to shut them down. Now, our offense, cons- eh, considering we might have to be playing with Colt McCoy, which I really I really don't care. He's, he proved that he's a lot uh, reliable. Well, this might be a problem. If we have to use a backup quarterback against second-best defense. Now, I think... Everyone, well, it's not, I think, it's a fact. Everyone counted us out against the Niners since we had Colt McCoy. And so, I think that kind of just helped the Cardinals in a sense. But with this, we don't even know if we're actually game planning for Kyler or uh, McCoy yet. So with us having to figure out if Kyler's ready, if he's not, we got to get Cole his snaps in practice, got to get Kyler going again. With us trying to figure that out, it's going to be tough to go up against the second-best defense. Okay, now, I'm just ready to see James Conner go up against us, especially him. He had his just amazing game against the Niners, three touchdowns, oh, 180 yards, right? Um... 
I'm interested to see because I know they got a good they got a good defensive line. I know that they got some. I mean that you have to be the second best defense, but I want to see if that's going to be a problem for Connor or if he's going to work around it. Because every team we played, you look at it, they are all statistically good in their own sense, and we've just we've done the work, we've put in the time, we put in the effort, we did it, and we stopped them. Derrick Henry, week one, hold them to sixty. The best rushing team, arguably, the Browns. We held them to, Jesus, I don't even know, but we held that rush for like the whole game. They didn't, they weren't too explosive on us, nothing. The Rams, we held the Rams down heavy. The point I'm trying to make here is that we are able to just game plan so well against these teams that it truly just isn't a problem at this point. It really isn't. So, if whatever we're doing in the film room, whatever we're doing just in general, if we can keep that up and come in here, prepare for that defense, I think we'll be ready to have this win in the bag. Now, um... I don't normally do this, but I, I think I might as well just start doing them at the end. Uh, I'll go ahead and put out a score prediction. Um, personally, with everything um, coming in, uh, taking everything into a, in, uh, a factor, I do see the Cardinals winning this 34 to 17. Okay, I, I think we're going to mess up. But decently not too big but it i think we'll have our moments where they they can capitalize off of but i see us having another game where we can drop over 30 and that's just been the story of the season for us so yeah but with that being said that's gonna be the video if you enjoyed hit that like button comment subscribe I upload daily content so be sure to tune back in with that being said i'll see you on the next one out fourth quarter shorty no call outs don't go to work baby just call out uh, in the bedroom all uh, out perks on the counter i can't wait to take them blunts on the counter can't wait to face it bad little bitch yeah she be my favorite all my songs they all on their playlist i don't really know how to say it but i'ma say it i don't really know if she take it but she can take it i don't slow it down unless i'm in the matrix presidential brain that bitch like sarah palin